Hello friends, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. In this video, we will discuss about what are the different types of phase diagram and which phase diagram is the most important for us to study. So let us start. Let us do a recap on phase diagram. Phase diagram are nothing but it shows phases as a function of temperature, pressure and composition and all these different parameters are plotted against each other on the phase diagram. So first of all, let us list what are the different types of phase diagram. So the three types of phase diagram are unary phase diagram, which is a one component phase diagram, binary phase diagram, which is a two component phase diagram. And the last one is the ternary phase diagram, which is a three component phase diagram. So in an earlier video, we have discussed about what are the components, what are the phases, and some different definitions related to phase diagram. You can refer to that video if you are not aware of the components. In the phase diagram, the simplest one is a unary phase diagram where the composition is held constant and the pressure and temperature is varied. And we have one more important phase diagram which is called as a binary phase diagram. Here the pressure is held constant and the temperature and composition is varied against each other and this is the most important phase diagram. Let us take an example of unary phase diagram. Here in this image you can see that this is a phase diagram of water. Here the pressure and temperature are varied and the composition is held constant. You can see the different temperatures which are there on the x-axis and on the y-axis you have the pressure which is varied. So as you keep on increasing the temperature, you can see that at one point the liquid phase will turn into vapor phase and as you go on decreasing the temperature, at one point you can see that the freezing point will come into picture and the liquid will turn into solid. And you can read the phase diagram. So all the three phases are listed here in this phase diagram of water. You have the solid phase, you have the liquid phase and you have the vapor or the gaseous phase. This is a one component phase diagram because the component here is water which is H2O and it is a single component. So that is why we are saying that this is a unary phase diagram. The next phase diagram is the binary phase diagram. This is the most important phase diagram as far as examinations are concerned. In most of the examination, two component phase diagrams are asked and this is a typical example of a two component binary phase diagram. Here we can see that this phase diagram is of copper and nickel. Here on the x axis you can see that it has weight percent of nickel and on the y axis it has temperature. So you can see different phases which are existent on this phase diagram. You can see a liquid phase also denoted by L. You can see a solid phase which is also called as an alpha phase and you can see a liquid and alpha phase which is a phase field. So at this particular field or phase field liquid and alpha that means solid and liquid both are existent together. So in a typical examination question you will be asked what are the different phases that are existent on the phase diagram. You will be asked what are the composition of the phases and the last question that you will be asked is what are the different proportion of the phases or the percentage of phases on the phase diagram at a particular point. So these are the most important questions which are related to the phase diagram and in the upcoming videos I will be discussing about how to find out what are the phases, what are the phase composition and what are the different proportion of phases which we can find out on a phase diagram. The next one is the ternary phase diagram. So in ternary phase diagram, there are three components which are there and they are plotted against temperature. So as an example, we can see here that iron, chromium and nickel alloy is an example of a ternary phase diagram. And we'll see in an upcoming slide how we can find out what are the different phases that are existent and how a typical ternary phase diagram looks like. This is an hypothetical ternary phase diagram of three components A, B and C. So on the x axis you can see that we have these three components at the corner of this image and on the y axis vertically we can see temperature. And the dark side of the image or the dark color of the image represent that at this particular time or at this particular point in the ternary phase diagram the entire phase is 
liquid and as you are reducing the temperature from that point downwards the material will change the phase and it will go into a solid phase so the earlier image which you saw of the ternary phase diagram was very complicated and it is very difficult for us to read the different phases and to see what phases are existent at a particular point so for the ease of reading the ternary phase diagrams are plotted in three different plots so these plots are liquidus plots isothermal plots and isoplate plots so i have decided that i will make a separate video on ternary phase diagram that is why i'll just discuss an example of isothermal plot and that too in a very short explanation so let us see how the isothermal plots of a ternary phase diagram looks like and how we can see what are the different phase which are present at a particular point in the ternary phase diagram so this is an image of a isothermal plot of a ternary phase diagram and this is at one particular temperature that is why it is called as an isothermal plot so isothermal plot means it is at a constant temperature so you can imagine the earlier 3d image of the ternary phase diagram and at one particular temperature you are taking a slice of that particular temperature and then you are representing that in a 2d image or as a two dimensional image so it becomes very easier for us to read if we have a two dimensional image and we can see that the three corner of this triangle represent the three different composition which is there in the ternary phase diagram and each side of the triangle represent a binary phase diagram or it represents the combination of two components so if you want to find out what is the phase which is present at one particular point in a phase diagram then you can have a look at the ternary phase diagram isothermal plot where it becomes very easier for you to identify that at what particular composition and temperature what phase is existent so there is a method of reading this ternary phase diagram based on the temperature and based on the composition we can go through that in a separate video of a ternary phase diagram and i'm planning to make that video very soon so i hope you just got an information about what are the different types of phase diagram and we saw that there are three types of phase diagram unary phase diagram binary phase diagram and ternary phase diagram and the most important phase diagram is the binary phase diagram where this is so important that most of the time in exam this phase diagram is given and you are asked to describe about this phase diagram and you have to show what are the different phases which are present on this phase diagram what are the composition of the phases and what are the percentage of different phases in the phase diagram so thanks for watching all the best